What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video I'm just going to be talking about probably one of the worst things about NBA 2K17 in my team, and it's the Auction House. If you play anything like FIFA Ultimate Team, you know that the Auction House is actually, like, it, it auto-refreshes. The Auction House auto-refreshes in basically any game in the market because that's how it's supposed to work. But 2K decided we're going to have set refresh times at every, I think it was every 15 minutes is what they said their set refresh time was. And so every 15 minutes the Auction House resets. Although it doesn't. It doesn't. So now, I'm going to look up diamonds. Look at how few diamonds there are on the market. This is like, this is all the diamonds on the market right now. Like, all of them. You can't actually buy a diamond right now for less than, so far it looks like 90k, 69k. 69k is the cheapest you can buy a diamond for right now. And it's not because they're all so rare. It's because over the last 12 plus hours, yes, 12 plus hours, the market hasn't refreshed. There is this few rubies on the market. Like, you used to get, this is how much you would have scrolled for yesterday to find Daniel Gibson's within the last 20 minutes. There are this few rubies. The auction house hasn't refreshed in literally, literally 12 hours. Sapphires, there's probably very few sapphires as well. Yeah, like two hours is the latest sapphire. You can see, Anthony, these cards are going way up in price because you literally can't put them up. They're becoming rare. Like, people are bidding on these cards. Like, look, there's a curry that has a bid of 2,200 on it. You used to be able to buy curry for 1,000 dead. Ricky Rubio, 5,100 bids. Like, people are bidding on these cards because they want to use them. Because you literally, literally can't put any cards up. Like, this is an ab absolute release. There's actually less sapphires than there are rubies on the market. I've never seen a game do something like this. I've never seen a game literally not put up any cards in auction for a grand total of over 12 hours. Like, over 12 hours. Like, I went to sleep yesterday and this, like, obviously the auction house didn't refresh. I woke up today and it's still not refreshing. There are literally none of the new diamond or ruby cards on the market. It, 2K didn't even release them for basically the majority of the day. They were, and as soon as they put them in the packs, you couldn't actually sell them. So, I don't know what the hell is going to happen to the market as soon as this glitch is gone. Will the prices plummet? I don't know. And it could be a really good way to make a load of MT. Because people might, a lot of people might think, oh my cards aren't selling. They might think their cards aren't selling because they're putting them up and they're just not showing up. So they might be dropping the prices. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but anyway, keep an eye on the market for the next day or so. Who knows, 2K trying to fix this may and bring out another MT glitch. I have no idea, but it's 2K, so anything can happen. So just keep an eye on, keep an eye on the game, keep an eye on what's going on, keep an eye on the auction house. So, so that was going to be the video, and I saw this tweet as I was editing. So basically, 2K MT Center, if you don't know, is a website that actually gets the cards that 2K are going to release and knows their stats, is able to post their stats long before they're released in game. I'm not entirely sure how they do it, maybe they know someone, maybe they just have a way of seeing what's gonna be added into the game, but it says here 2K have been adding and removing the five new playoff cards. If you don't know who the five new playoff cards are, it's Diamond Jimmy Butler, Diamond Paul Millsap, Amethyst Al Horford, uh, Ruby Tim Hardaway Jr., and I think it's Diamond DeAndre Jordan, they're the five cards. So they've been adding and removing them from collections for the past 24 hours. Why? I have got no idea. But at the same time, pretty much, this means that if you packed one of these cards yesterday, you could lose it. You could completely lose this card. If 2K decides to, um, that, oh, we're, we decided not to add those cards in, you could literally lose these cards. And I don't know what's going on. Obviously, 2K Empty Central don't ha seem to have a clue what's going on. And to be honest, 2K, I don't think, see have a clue what's going on. They seem like they don't know what they're doing either. It's such a simple thing. Add a couple of players in and remember to refresh the auction house. It's not the most difficult thing. And this problem wouldn't even be happening if the auction house auto-refreshed and if every card didn't need to go into a collection. Because if you don't know, there was a lot of cards in NBA 2K16 last year that you could pull in Historic Domination and for the entire year weren't added into collections. I'm not kidding, for the entire year, like I could pull Quinton Richardson and I was never able to use him. 
So this is just something that's happened too, for too long 2K and it's something that needs to change for NBA 2K18. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.